Good morning everyone. Again I am back with a bang. Today we are going to see there are many colors around you. Red, blue, yellow, green and I am wearing white. Maybe you are wearing any other color. But do you know these colors not only have meanings but also they help us to know some difference between acid and base. So today we are going to understand about acid and bases. So let's talk something about acid and base first and then I'm going to perform beautiful magic in front of you in which you will see different color changes. Okay, so let's start with acids. So what are acids? You have been eating and drinking many acid products. I'm just giving you an example like lemon, lemon juice, it's so tasty. You need it in summers, right? But it's an acid. It's a good acid. It is required in your body. Like vinegar. Vinegar is also a type of acid. And there are many artificial acids like HCl, H2SO4. All these are types of acid. Now how you are able to understand that it's an acid? Acid has some properties. First property that acid will always be sour in taste. You are always having lemon. You are always having lemon. Vinegar bhi hum jab chowmin mein dalte tasty tasty chowmin banane ke liye to bhi hume khatta lagta hai kyun lagta hai because it is an acid and acid is sour in taste right and why it is said to be an acid because it's a property of it the acid is having a property that it will always release hydrogen ions in water jab bhi hum paani mein se mix karenge to usme hydrogen ions release hongi tabhi wo acid hai Okay? Now let us come to the another one that is a base. Okay? So base may I give you an example. You have eaten namkeen, khai, samosa, khai, okay? nimki, khai. it is crispy, si hoti hai. Hai na? Hoti hai na? So it is like this because you put it in baking soda. You put it in baking soda, you will put it in baking soda, then it will be crispy. This baking soda is a type of base. You will put it in baking soda, you will put it in baking soda, you will put it in baking soda. That is because of the soap or the detergent, right? This is also a base. A base me kya hota hai? Base always have a bitter taste. Karwa hota hai. Lekin hum usko obviously khaa nahi sakte, hai na? Then second thing is it will always release hydroxide ion, OH minus ions, always in the water. Jab bhi aap pani mein se dissolve karoge, tab OH minus ions release hongi. So we have two properties that is one it is bitter in taste and second that it will always release OH minus ions whenever dissolved in water. Now you know these two properties but the point is that how we are going to classify it and how we are going to know ki acid is and base is right? So we can do this for this. We have one thing which help us to determine that which one is acid and which one is base. That is known as indicators. Indicators means they help you to know which one is acid and which one is base. Indicators ka jab hum use karte hain, then we get to know that which one is acid and which one is base. Right? These indicators are also classified into two parts. Natural indicators and synthetic indicators. Natural means obviously which is obtained from nature and synthetic indicators are usually made from chemicals which help you to know that which one is acid and which one is base. So we are going to talk about today two types of indicators in this video. Fine? So let's have this experiment. So let's start the experiment today, okay? So you can see there are many chemicals I have placed over here. One is, uh, this is a soap solution, right? For example, this is milk I have taken, this is HCl and there are many chemicals like this is a chemical which is named, named as iron sulfate FeSO4, right? So there are many uh, things I have taken. So let me name, let me tell you what all ingredients I have taken, right? I would like to say these are the substances. So first I have taken water, 
I have taken FeSO4 which is known as iron sulfate. I have taken soap solution. I have taken lemon. Lemon ghar mein sabka hota hai, right? HCl I have taken which is also known as hydrochloric acid. This is milk, right? I have taken a milk. I have taken vinegar. Okay. I have taken NaOH which is known as sodium hydroxide. Okay. This is a uh, baking soda, hai na? Jo mummy khane mein magra karti hai, usko maine pani mein ghol liya hai, right? So this is a baking soda, right? And fine. And I now we are going to have the experiment of indicators. So I am going to show you two indicators which are natural which I have. This is one is uh, turmeric. ठीक है हल्दी है ये ठीक है ये एक इंडिकेटर है मेरे पास नेचुरल एंड आई हैव ब्लू लिटमस पेपर राइट दिस इज अ ब्लू लिटमस पेपर एंड आई हैव रेड लिटमस पेपर दीज टू आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नेचुरल इंडिकेटर्स फाइन लिटमस पेपर एंड टर्मरिक सोल्यूशन दीज आर बोथ आर नेचुरल इंडिकेटर्स फाइन सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डू सम काइंड ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट लेट सी वॉट ऑल दीज सोल्यूशन गिव यू गिव यू कलर्स विद दिस ब्लू इलेटमस फाइन सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस ब्लू इलेटमस ओके आई एम गोइंग टू डिप इट अटल विट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू प्लेस इट बाई शोइंग यू ओके सी इज दिस एनी कलर चेंज नो देर इज नो कलर चेंज सो आई हैव प्लेस्ड इट Let me show you the another one. This is FeSO4 that is known as iron sulfate. Can you see the color change to red? This blue change to red. Okay. We are going to write the observations, and later we are going to see what is the difference. Any color change? No, no color change. Okay. This is the lemon I have taken. Can you see? Yes, it changes to red. Okay. This is HCl. This also changes to red. Okay. Then we have milk. this also changes to little bit of red okay this is vinegar the color change to red this is blue Okay. I have taken this baking soda and the color is again blue. Right? So, blue litmus paper. So, let's have this uh, I can show you the results again. This is red, okay? A little bit of red. you can see that is feso4 right uh this is a little bit red this is very good red which is coming this is a lemon this is an acid then again we are getting in hcl this is also an acid okay uh, we are not getting we are getting a, a red color here also right this is a uh, vinegar Fine. So these are the results. Now let us come to red litmus paper. Okay. So I am doing with red litmus paper now. Let me see with water. No color change. Okay. Then with FeSO4. No color change. Then with soap solution.
this color changes to little bit of blue, right? No color change with lemon. No color change with HCL. No color change with uh, this milk. No color change with vinegar. This shows a blue color that is NaOH. With baking soda, it also shows a little bit of blue. Okay. So we have the results, which are I can see the color change in soap solution. Okay. This is the blue color is coming in this. Uh, it's a little bit light blue. That's why you're not able to see it. Uh, it's a little bit of light blue. It's coming. Okay. And we have one more result that is that is NaOH. It is giving a very dark color of blue. And we have this also that is baking soda. Okay. So these are the results of litmus paper fine now let us have the results of turmeric so i'm going to use turmeric to test these solutions okay so let me test few of them right uh, i have taken a test tube fine i'm going to put this turmeric in this little bit of turmeric i've taken okay now I'm going to add this soap solution. Let's see what happens. And I have one more test tube. So I am going to test this turmeric. This is vinegar, so I've tested with vinegar also, okay? Is there any color change? No. No color change is seen here, right? Fine, there is no color change. So in vinegar, if we are using a turmeric, it is not giving any color change, right? And I have just... Can you see this color? This is a little bit of red you can see, right? So this was a soap solution. It was giving you a color of yellow. Now it converts to a little bit of red. Right? I'm going to test one more. This is NaOH. Can you see this red color? The yellow color turns to red. Fine. So turmeric gives red color when it is added to a base. Right? This is an indicator which helps you to know the difference between acid and base. So this is an acid because I put vinegar in it. And this is a base which is NaOH I have put over here. Right? So this is a base and this is an acid. So indicators help to know which one is base and which one is acid. Correct? So this is a natural indicator which is turmeric. And one more thing, if I see the litmus paper result of NaOH and vinegar, 
So I'm going to show you again. This was blue litmus paper which turned into red color. Right? See. This is a blue litmus paper which turned into red color. I'm going to show you again if you wanted to see. See. Correct? And if I'm going to put a red litmus paper, it will not change any color because it's not a base, it's an acid. Fine? And if I show you the result of litmus paper of NaOH, so this was a blue litmus paper. It doesn't change any color, it becomes blue only. Right? And you can see the red litmus paper, the color changed to blue. If you wanted to see it again, I can do it again. Paper. And if I dip it in NMH, no color changes. Right? So we get two results, basically three results. If I put blue litmus paper in acid, then it gets converted into red. And if I put red litmus in acid, then there will be no change of color. Fine. I'm repeating it again. If we put red litmus paper in base, then it will give you blue color. And if we put blue litmus paper in acid, it give you red color. Fine. And if we do it opposite, there will be no color change. As I shown you here. Right. And with turmeric, if you put in acid, it will not change any color but if you put with base then it will change to red fine so this was about natural indicators I have two artificial indicators that are known as synthetic indicators fine so I have two indicators with me one is known as phenolphthalein and another is methyl orange okay so these two are synthetic indicators because they are made up of chemical and they will also help you to identify which is acid and which is base. So let's start with phenolphthalein. Fine. So I have a phenolphthalein indicator here. So I am going to test. Let's take something different. Let's take HCl. Okay. This is HCl. I'm taking HCl. So I took HCl a little bit in this and put phenolphthalein drops. You can see the color of phenolphthalein that is transparent, like colorless. So no color changes there, right? Fine. Let me take another test tube and I'm going to put baking soda in this. And I'm going to put this phenolphthalein. Can you see the pink color? Red. So give this gives you a result that when I took the HCl, right, and put the phenolphthalein in it, there is no color. That means it's colorless. And when I put the baking soda and I put some phenolphthalein in it, it turns pink right that means phenolphthalein gives pink color when it is acid to add it to base baking soda is base and hcl is acid right as the name says the color is orange NOH okay And I put a little bit of methyl orange in it. Lemon. See, it gives a red color. 
right? And I'm going to show you the color of methyl orange also, so that you can get to know the difference of the color. This is the real color of methyl orange. This is the color which we get when I added NaOH. And this is the color which we get when I added lemon in it. So you can see the difference. See the color difference, right? So that means methyl orange gives you red color when it is added to acid. And it gives you yellow color when it is added to base. Okay? We are going to make a table of it as well so that we can get to know that which indicator gives which color when we add acid or base to them. Okay? Next, that whether water gives any color with any of the indicators. So I am taking a very simple indicator that is phenolphthalein. Okay? And I put some chemicals in it. I have put the phenolphthalein in it. And I am adding the water. See, this is the water I am adding in it. No color change. There is no color change. Why? Because water is neutral. It is neither acid nor base. Water is neutral. It is neither acid nor base. That's why no color change is seen in it. Right? Now I'm going to show you one experiment that is related to displacement reaction. Okay? That I will explain you that what is displacement reaction. I wanted to show you a small activity. Let me take this. This is CuSO4 which is known as copper sulfate solution. Okay, so I have taken a copper sulfate solution and I have added the copper sulfate solution to the test tube. Okay, now I am going to place little bit of iron fillings color of iron fillings this is black okay now I'm going to put it iron fillings I'm going to mix it very well and shake it so that the reaction happens very fast okay now can you see the black iron fillings converted to brown? Can you see the brown color here? I am going to show you the fillings again. This is the filling black color and this is the brown color which you can see under the test tube. Right? Now if I leave it for some time which I have already done here, the color which was in the test tube gets converted to little bit of green see it's not visible that much but you can see that it is converted into green color okay now I can show you the difference of the color see this is the blue color and this is the little bit of green color see can you see the color difference right so this happened because the copper sulfate solution when mixed with iron fillings the copper gets displaced copper nakni jaga chhod di chhodni padi use because iron is stronger than copper so this green color comes because of iron sulfate solution which was made in this let's come to the results so I'll just show you that when we added copper sulfate solution and we added some kind of iron fillings in it, it gets converted into light green color and the iron fillings were having brown deposits on it. This is a reaction which is known as displacement reaction. That means copper is being displaced by iron. 
और ऐसा होता है क्यों क्योंकि आयरन ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग रिएक्टिव एलिमेंट है एज कंपेटिवली कॉपर आयरन ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग है तो वो उसे डिशुम करके साइड कर मीन्स द आयरन इज स्ट्रॉन्गर एंड कॉपर इज लेस स्ट्रॉन्गर दैट्स वाई आयरन डिस कॉपर एंड मिक्स विथ सल्फेट सो दिस रिएक्शन कम्स लाइक दिस कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन वेन एडेड विद आयरन फिलिंग्स इट गिवस आयरन सल्फेट सोल्यूशन एंड इट गिवस द ब्राउन डिपॉजिट ऑन द आयरन नेल आयरन नेल पे जो ये ब्राउन डिपॉजिट है दैट इज द कॉपर विच इज बींग डिस्प्लेस्ड सो यही रिएक्शन हमने अभी देखा जो आप यहां देख सकते हैं राइट सी यू एस ओ फोर इन दिस द आयरन फिलिंग कलर ऑफ द सोल्यूशन वॉज ब्लू एंड देन वी गेट द रिजल्ट इन द रिजल्ट वी आर गेटिंग आयरन सल्फेट सोल्यूशन एंड द कलर इज लिटल बिट लाइट ग्रीन एंड इन द आयरन फिलिंग्स वी आर हैविंग द डिपोजिट ऑफ कॉपर right so this reaction we have just seen over here which is known as displacement reaction summarize the table now you can see the table over here right you can see the table i have made the table that whatever test i have made with all these reactions i have just made over here you can see all the indicators and all the substance which i have used here with the color change and the reactions happening right and also that what is the result which one is acid and which one is base so aap clearly dekh sakte hain that naoh baking soda soap solution these are base and hcl juice and we have vinegar all these are acid right kyunki wo alag alag indicators ke sath alag alag color dete hain right so you can see over here that if i am using litmus paper then with acid blue litmus paper gives red color and with base blue litmus paper doesn't have any change and if i see red litmus paper red litmus paper ke sath if i'm using in base it will give you blue color color change we have turmeric which gives no color change with acids but give red color with base then we saw about phenolphthalein phenolphthalein gives pink color very beautiful pink color with base and colorless as it is colorless so no change in acids and then we have seen in methyl orange methyl orange gave red color with acid and yellow color with base which i have already written in this table so i hope you have understood the difference between acid and base bahut maza aaya is experiment ko karne mein am i right guys so bye bye everyone have a nice day